can buy myself flowers Write my name in the sand I love that song Nobody can love me better than I can And love me better Love me, love me better Love me better I just like that song I always will like that song now Anyways, I'm coming on here to drive you guys crazy. I like that Patsy Cline song. Crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. Crazy, crazy for loving, loving you. I don't know all the words. I don't know none of the words. But I always like that song. To me, it like hits heart. I don't know. Do you guys like that song? Ugh. I mean, I don't do it no justice or anything. I'm not tearing it up. But it's just, ugh. Crazy. Oh, I just love it. I think it's a beautiful song. That's what I'm trying to say. That song stands the test of time. Some songs do. Ow. Some songs don't. I take too many showers. My mom always used to say, she goes, you're scrubbing your skin off, girl. I know. I just hair, just grow. My hair was so long and pretty, and what happened? I look cute. It was, I mean, I didn't look 57 years old when I had long hair. I miss my hair. <clears throat> my voice sounds so deep. Like I almost smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes. It's at nighttime I get raspy sounding because I'm tired and my sinuses bug me. Anyways, enough about me. I offered, okay, this is newsflash. This is what's happening. This is what's going on. I offered to work tomorrow on my day off and on Friday on my day off. The only day off I have is Wednesday because they're not doing training at this new job. <laughs> and uh, I got to put Vicks in my nose. I can't breathe um, this week. So I'm hoping they do it next week because basically what happened, they got to fire somebody now. And I'm going to take their spot. But you know what? I feel bad about that, but I don't, if, if, if this is what's going on, because that's how I got this job here, I already got a preset schedule here, and that's exactly what's going to happen there. I'm getting somebody's spot, and they probably don't come to work, they probably don't come on time, or they call in all the time. Like this guy that I'm taking his spot tomorrow on Friday, it's just absolutely ridiculous. This guy don't work the weekends, and he can barely work during the week. I don't know how he lives, or if he's got a pension from Detroit cops, or what. I have no idea, but you know what? I'm only doing this till I go, kind of a thing. And I hope this company don't screw me over. Um, I take my spoon home and my fork. I'm tired of leaving them in the car, and then, and then I I have none. Like I get so many of these spoons and forks, and then I leave them. And then I just, and then I look next week, and I got nothing in the drawer, I because I I just get plastic spoons and forks and knives because number one it saves water, and I can get them for free. Why have any more to do than I already got to do? That's how I look at it. And I use styrofoam plates pretty much for everything. Sorry, and I don't like to screw up the world and the landfills. And I know I cripe about that, but I try to be mindful of when I do it and we do recycle I don't recycle the styrofoam plates because they're dirty from cat food but I recycle like plastic bottles we have a million plastic bottles a week and stuff like that so I recycle all that 
and there's some stuff I need to take out of the garbage can and put it in the recycling bin tomorrow. I know that. So I have to do that. But what was I even talking about? That's what happens to me. I get on 40 subjects at once because I'm always excited to talk to you guys. You guys, again, are my family. You guys, again, are my light and my sunshine. And you really are. Uh, uh. But, um, yeah, so I offered to work since I'm not going to be training tomorrow. I really didn't want to work Friday, but I need to because that's going to pay for me not paying for a bill this week. At, so I'll just pay it next week and I'm going to call them and say, so then I'll be able to buy at least, hopefully, uh, let me figure how much I'll have. 90, I ain't going to get all 90, I ain't going to get that. So I'll just say 100, 100. So, 100, 200. <sighs> I have like a very little, like $150 for groceries. Ain't shit. But that's okay. Maybe I'll have a little bit more. Maybe I'll just tell my husband I'll pay him half this week and half next week. He'll be okay with that, I think. <sighs> 40. Yeah, he's going to have to be okay with that. Because I'm going to punch him in the chops. <laughs> he's good to me. He's buying... Listen to this crap. Oh, I about freaked out when I changed my sheet and washed it yesterday and put it back on. My dog... I don't know, at night, he peed like, like in two corners of my brand new mattress. No... So I found a cheap $25, $30 mattress pad that's like for waterproof stuff on Amazon. He's going to order it. He said when he goes in the house because I'm on him like white on rice. I go, I promise you I won't ask for no, nothing else for a long time. I keep saying that. I just had him get me hair dye. Seven of them. But he gets some. I need that mattress pad. I got to have it. And I can't afford it right now. So he's going to order it for me. I'm excited. And that'll give even more cushion on my bed when I lay down. I love my mattress. I I need to flip it around. I might try to do that tonight before I go to bed. It's heavy as hell, but I used to move my old one. I'll just take my time. I want to move it because I want to evenly wear it. You can't flip it up. Center. Why do they make all these new mattresses? I wonder why. Is it cheaper for them? Or do they make so it makes you buy a new mattress sooner? That's a good question. Why do they make them one side mattresses only? Back in the day, you had a mattress you could use both sides. So you got twice as wear out of that. Are they doing that on purpose? Is it is it cheaper for them, number one, to make it only one side layable? Or is it cheaper and they're trying to make you buy a mattress sooner. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. Because why Why did they used to make it? You could use both sides of it. Now you can only, you know, turn it around. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to try to move it around when I go home before my dog gets up in there. Because he, like, when he gets sleepy, he don't want to move. And he gets crabby. And he wants to, like, sometimes he'll wake up, like, and bite. And he realizes it's me, Mama. Then he knows he's in big trouble. Because my husband doesn't know what he does when he sleeps. And he's kicker. And my whoopie will bite my husband's feet. But then he real if, if he wakes up with me doing that, he realizes who I am. And then he knows that's bad. That's mama. You can't bite mama. I'm so gentle with him. I never hurt a hair on his little face. And he knows that. He I know he knows that. I don't know how to explain, but my dog knows it. Ah, uh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bore you guys. I'm trying to crack my neck. Did you hear that? Because it gives me, it feels so good. 
I mean, sitting in that booth all the time is the most uncomfortable chair in there. I wish to God they could get a better chair in there. If somebody broke it, I'm not blaming nobody. It's, probably, it's old as shit. But if they had a comfortabler chair in there, my God, you know, it's just horrible. So, ow. Ow. So, yeah, that's, that's the pro problem. So, anyways, I'm just fortunate enough that I can work not... This is my thing. I'm not working 16-hour shifts. I'm not going all the way downtown Detroit. I'm coming to my same home plant. I know everybody here, whatever. I can do my job. I don't have to talk to nobody. I'd rather do my time here. Till I go somewhere else and make more money. Let's put it that way. But, um... Yeah, I wonder that about the mattresses. Comment if you guys know anything about that. Or, but, and I got another question for you guys. The TV my husband first got, it's not as good TV as the one he bought me, when his TV blew up last summer from a bad storm and we still got the other one in the other room and he says he's going to take it to get it fixed. It's been sitting there now since last year. But anyways, like I said, when I hopefully start working, I'd like to save up before I start saving for a truck. Get a, a refrigerator. He's bought me that refrigerator. I should be able to buy the other refrigerator and maybe a freezer chest. Maybe we could go on half on that. So I could have, a, like, when I find all this food, have an extra freezer in my mother-in-law's room. I don't care if the cats are in there or not. We're going to throw a, a ch uh, she's got an arm warm thing. It's a completely wrecked. It was one of the, um, her daughter's, friend. it's no good. It's no good. The wood's all warped. It's, it's just nasty. The wood's a 50 different color. Oh, it's no good. So anyways, I'm going to put a chest freezer in there. And uh, that would be great. So then when I find stuff, I could keep it. Like this one dumpster diver, Fortune Finders, he found all this, like, Kerrygold butter, but it was Aldi's brand. Man, if I found all that, yeah, I'd give some away, but I would keep, like, 30 tubs of it in the freezer. Keep about four or five, six in the refrigerator, and the rest I'd freeze on it. Because, like you said, it's $5 a tub. When you find stuff like that, it's worthwhile. And I'm never going to stop dumpster diving. I'm going to go tomorrow morning and look at a couple places because I do got to make pork chops before I go to work. <sighs> pork, I got I to, gotta, yeah, I got to get up by nine, the latest. Get up, make pork chops, a vegetable, and maybe, hopefully one side. But my knowing my husband, he's going to want mashed potatoes and noodles or something because he's a Polak. I don't know. But whatever he wants, I'm going to find out tonight. Keep his ass happy feed his ass, make him happy because I love him and he is good to me so yeah, he's been better to me now than he ever has been in our whole marriage and it took just years for him to get better as a person but he's better now than he's ever been. he's never bought me stuff like this and cared about me and my well being ever and it's so, and it's, I, I, cause I show, I think you, I hope, I think he's starting to realize what a hell of a wife he's got. I'd walk through fire for that son of a bunchkin, freaking hillbilly on nitro. Well, anyways, um, yeah. And then he bought toilet paper today. He bought too big of a thing. I go, do you know? The last time you bought a big thing of toilet paper, your mother was still alive. That was back in May or something or April. I have free toilet paper since then. That is pretty damn good. I've So then let's just say May, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. February. I've had free toilet paper for eight or nine months now. That's pretty damn good. That is awesome. Maybe I've bought it once in between, but that's it because I kept finding it. And then you got to realize I'm at work all the time. A lot of times I go to bathroom here and do my businesses. 
So I'm just peeing a lot of times when I go home or when I wake up and then he's the only one there. How much toilet paper is one person going to use? But I noticed since I've been home more, ow, I've used more toilet paper. And actually, I got a, I'm thinking about tonight, I got to wash the new rugs in the bathroom. I think my dog peed on him because he's got a problem with the cats. He's got to he's got to mark everything, and I love those new rugs my husband bought me. There's two, one by the, they're washable, and you don't like you're not supposed to skate. There's one little one by the front door, back door, and two in the bathroom, and those are great. And they were only twenty dollars for two of them, and those are very nice rugs. And plus that bath mat that I found at Dollar General. It's like it soaks up water. I got that over one of those rugs, and it actually matches it for when you come out of the shower. It's good. It's like a chenille, so it soaks up water, and it's and it's cushiony. So I know my dog lays in there on that too because it's soft. I don't know why my dog picks that place as a hiding place. I don't know. I, I just don't know why that's his hiding place when anything scares him or anything is next to the toilet and the bathtub maybe he feels safe between that area that's what I think it is now I got that I always had rugs there but now I got that real soft cushiony rug it's even better than anything before but um what the hell was I gonna tell you guys I wanted to tell you guys something else and I forgot about the beds, I wanted to ask you, oh, does any of you know, okay, my husband's got a, the TV that he originally bought when the other TV blew up, and I said, oh, this TV isn't that good of a quality, and he bought mine, remember, because we lost two TVs within a month and a half or a month, so he bought me a brand new one, I go, don't you dare buy me one junkie like the one in the family room, that's a crappy TV. It isn't that crappy, but it isn't good like my TV's beautiful that he bought me. And then he got jealous when he seen my TV. He bought another TV just like that for the family room and took the other brand new one he bought. It's in the garage, right? Because he lives in the garage. The garage is his life, and it makes him happy, so I don't care. And he downloaded... Because we got an alarm on our garage now and an alarm on our house. And he downloaded for free Amazon Prime. Does anybody know about that? What kind of channels are on that? He hasn't had a chance to go through all that. And is it going to be free forever? Or do you have to start paying eventually? I don't know. I want to know. So can anybody tell? And I think it was built in the TV that we got so it, why wouldn't it be free then forever or is it just in there and then eventually you got to pay does anybody know about that please please let me know because I don't know oh my god my other arms it should now so yeah please 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 let me know so yeah so that's what's going on and uh, I'm going to have some really good videos for you tomorrow Today was kind of iffy. I had a lot going on. I kept waiting for that job. I couldn't even sleep good this morning. I got up, ooh, extra early, like 7.30, because I'm thinking, what if this woman calls me at 8 o'clock in the morning to come and train for this job tomorrow, and I'm half asleep? You know what I'm saying? So it just wasn't good. At least I'm off on Wednesday. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I'm going to take advantage of it on Wednesday, let me tell you. I could make that whole ham or half a ham I got on Wednesday if my husband wants it. And then he can eat off of it. And I can sneak some to the cats outside and to the cats in the house. I'll probably make that then if you don't mind. Because usually what happens when I make the, those good Sam's Club hams, they're on the purple shiny wrapping paper that looks like Easter. He just eats chunks off of it. Like, he's like... I, when I met my husband, he worked in the bar that I used to go to, and he was the bar back, and he did everything in there and helped, and he did the, 
what did he do? He played the music or something too. And he would never play the songs I wanted to hear. He did that on purpose because he liked me. He was mean to me because he liked me. He was jealous of me. A little shit. Oh, and then I just would see him like take a whole handful of bacon in the back and go round like a farm animal. And I'd laugh my ass off and he didn't know I'd seen him. I thought that was the funniest thing. I loved my husband from the minute I seen him. I'm the kind of person that I go after what I like and who I like and I liked him. He didn't like me at first, but he learned to like me. I had to kill him a couple times. And I was the best person in the world to him and he couldn't have landed a better person in his life. God brought me, brought him to me, Ow. brought me to him because <laughs> nobody would ever stay with my husband. So should he put me through? Never. All his problems he had before, not in a zillion years. And now he's such a good person. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him. So, so proud. Only when he's lazy, I like to put a hot poker up his ass. But other than that, I'm proud of him. I love him. But you guys, let me know. I'm going to let you go tonight. I'm tired. I'm, I'm in a great mood, but I'm just tired. Because I was getting up early thinking I got to get up early tomorrow. At least I don't got to get up early tomorrow. Even though I got to work, I don't got to get up early. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, I got an itch on my back. Let me know about the mattresses and about the Amazon Prime. And I must have got something dirty on the back of my lens because it looks foggy looking. So let me know. I love you guys. I need to crack my neck really good. If I went to one of those chiropractors, I want that towel or that strap you put on your neck and pull my back out and my spine so it could go, oh my God. I, I need that for years to be pulled that way, the long way, so it can crack like that. That would feel like such major relief. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's what I need. Anyways, like and subscribe. I love you guys. Subscribe. I can't believe I'm at 2,800 subscribers. I'm at 3,140 some watch hours. I got 900 more watch hours to go and then I'm monetized. I'm making headway, headway with you guys. All as possible. Come back tomorrow too. I may find some stuff in a, in, in a dumpster. I might find something before I go to work and then hurry up and have to do a video and then post it when I get to work or whatever. And then you guys can comment and talk about some of the stuff I found. Who knows, you know? So please come back tomorrow. And if I don't find stuff, I will have a good topic to talk about. But that's my two things asking you today. What about mattresses? I believe they they make them like that nowadays. So you're forced into buying a mattress sooner. You can only use one side. That's crazy. And what about Amazon Prime? Anybody know about that? Do you eventually have to pay? Or is that app he downloaded free forever? That was off the TV. I don't know. Love you guys. Talk to you later. And subscribe, you sons of bitches.